with us. All right, as Thanksgiving quickly approaches, we often research new ideas and recipes for the grand feast. But here's your question. What are you doing to prepare yourself for the emotional moment when family and friends are all around your table? You're already taking deep breaths, Dr. Stillwell. That's part of the we have breath. Licensed pastoral <laughs> counselor, Dr. James Stillwell, with us today to provide some tips for finding your holiday joy instead of holiday judgment. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, good were to you, be. You really were deep breathing over there. Well, that's a good strategy too. Oh. Take deep breaths. And that is. All anyway. right. <laughs> <laughs> Not to call you out, that's good, that's good. It's, it's putting us in the mood. All right, so. The zen. Well, we need some zen because yes. often the holidays can be a little stressful, meaning a little, a lot. So you know that's gonna happen. Yeah. So prepare, prepare mentally, prepare uh, in terms of you're in charge if you're hosting this thing. And so you can decide not to put people at the same table. Ooh, that do are like a seating chart. That are cards. like, yeah. Well, just as people come in, you can naturally do that. You can, you can make some decisions like that. Put them at the kitty table mm. in the other room. Well, that, that reminds me that people are gonna do whatever they're gonna do to, because um, they don't have a filter because of the alcohol or whatever, um, to calm themselves down. And so they may not take deep breaths, they may, play with the kids, they may go to the bathroom the whole time, they may look at their phones, uh, they may turn on your TV. Right. Just anticipate all of this so you're not surprised. We're all in the same boat. We're all kind of anxious, um, but uh, you don't have to be. I think you should frame this time as kind of like, bed and breakfast is the best conversation that, that I've ever experienced around a table. And, and they're just so good at setting the table, describing the food, keeping people focused, that kind of thing. You can do this. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> power through, power through. I mean, I think that's part of it, though, is just being, being anxious, because that's me. So I know that I have to definitely take my medicine the night before. So I'm even keeled. Um, but just, I don't know if I want to gather everybody together and be like, hey, hey, hey. You know, like, that's do you need to question, talk to right. people before, beforehand? Like, please don't talk about this. Please don't bring up it, this. Sometimes Is it that helps. okay? You know, you're going to have some folks who understand that uh, we're going to um, not be antagonistic in the things that we bring up. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that goes a little <laughs> in the heart. Well, what if something does happen? Is it best to handle that situation right there? What is the best way? Because sometimes if you try to calm somebody down or tell them to stop. Yeah, telling that just someone makes it to worse. calm yeah. down never works. Right. You know? So how do you handle it if there it starts to get a little uh, as messy? the calm, mature person in the room, you can reframe things. Okay? And and uh, because everybody is is kind of in the same boat. And before you get to that situation, take care of your own anxieties and think what would I do if I was really anxious? so that when you see this happening, um, you, have, you have kind of compassion for these people mm -hmm. and, and you help other people to understand and love each other, sure. you know? I think there's just a lot of pressure though too, like this is supposed to be a, supposed to be, you know, a joyous, fun time where everybody gets together and cooks together and bakes together and then I don't feel like it's always... Yeah, you can lower those expectations yeah. so expectations. that you don't expect nirvana Okay. Then you just drink together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when somebody chooses that, you chill out and don't worry about it. You know, a as you said, uh, this can be an opportunity for judgment. That's what we're trying to avoid, is I'm not going to judge this person for what they say. I'm going to kind of reframe it and, and help people to connect. Well, and you know, often people worry ahead of time. People are going to ask about their love life. They're going to ask talk politics, talk mm -hmm. all those. I have a bunch of hands going up in the <laughs> studio right now. How do we either avoid those or handle them when it happens? I think what, what you can do is practice, you know? Uh, with somebody like you and me, we can talk this through before it happens and say, what would be a good answer for this? Uh, a calming answer, a redirecting answer. Um, anyway, uh, kind of, 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 of anticipating it so that we're not surprised and, and you know, how about? Sure. Whatever is Change the subject the real next quick. Thing. How about a shot? <laughs> <laughs> well then. So just kidding. Preparing. That's that's Be your prepared. word of the day. Be prepared mentally. If, if we need help either before it's kind of last minute or after, but we have holiday parties coming up, how do we get a hold of you? Okay. So it is kind of last minute, but before or after, you can give me a call. 
and all my information is on drjamesstillwell.com. We may need more therapy after. Thank you, you, Dr. Go. James Stillwell. It is yeah. always great to have you here. We appreciate you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.